Athens, the Propylaea, the only entrance to the Acropolis. Once the renovation of the Parthenon was completed, the need appeared to better shape the entrance point on the west side of the sacred rock, the only natural passage to the rock. From ancient times, a building complex had stood there called the Propylaea. Its aim? To control entry to the Acropolis. Pericles assigned the erection of the new Propylaea to the architect Nisicles. The work began in 437 BC, the same year the Parthenon was completed, an indication of the importance of the building. Even when the design of the Propylaea began, it was destined to be as glorious as the Parthenon itself. It is 74 meters wide, taking up the whole west side, so whoever wanted to go up to the temple could only do so through one of its five gates. In this way, the guards could better control who went up to the holy temple. The Propylaea are basically a rectangular building 24 meters long, divided in three parts. The west one was called Gallery because it contained paintings from celebrated artists of antiquity. The east side contained statues, including one by the famed philosopher Socrates, who was apparently a sculptor in his youth. The sacred path, measuring four meters in width, passed right through the center. They closed off with huge wooden doors seven meters high. There were four other smaller doors five meters high, whereas the stairs varied in length and width. There were six ionic style columns on each side of the main hallway and six Doric style columns on the building's facade. This mixture of styles probably served as a representation of the merging of the different cultural backgrounds found in ancient Athens. A small but charming temple on the southeast side of the Propylaea was dedicated to the goddess Athena Nike and was built in 421 BC. It was 9 meters long and 5 meters wide. It holds two arcades, one at the front and one at the back, each with four ionic colonnades. It contained a small altar, also dedicated to the goddess.
Unfortunately, the construction of the Propylaea took place at the same time as the Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta. Understandably, the city could not longer afford to shower money at the project, bringing it up to the standards of the initial design. The construction was regarded as finished after just five years of work. The decorations and engravings, of course, continued in the years to come, as was the case with the Parthenon. Despite this, the building is considered worthy of the Parthenon. The engravings and other ornamentations it possessed fulfilled the role for which it was made. To protect all that was holy in the Parthenon from ill-motivated enemies and to prepare visitors spiritually before ascending to such a holy place. <laughs>